Hi guys, Stunt Double here. This video is about my Mini Talon. I've been getting a few questions about this plane lately, so I thought I'd make an overview video. This plane is set up nicely with a GoPro gimbal up front, and I'm shooting some really smooth footage. So let's have a look at the components in this build. There's a Runcam Mini Swift camera stuck in the nose. and that has a 2.3 lens. There's a 3D printed Streamline canopy and that's from Mark Q. He has a whole range of 3D printed accessories for the Mini Talon so check out his website at itsqv.com The gimbal is the Quantum Mini 3D from Hobby King and it's designed for the GoPro session cameras. I can remove the gimbal by replacing this canopy just with a plain one. The VTX is stuck into the side of the fuse. That's held in place with a 3D printed bracket. There's a heat sink stuck to the bottom of the VTX. and I'm running an inverted V antenna. The VTX can also be positioned in the top of the fuse here with the antennas sticking up nice and high for better video range. I find that works better for long range flights. The hatch is held in place using magnets. Check out my double jointed thumb. Okay, so let's open this up. And the hatch is split in half so I can bend back just the forward section. And that's held in place using laminate film. Back here I've got a 3D printed air intake and that's another part from Mark Q. Let's take off the hatch and have a look inside. So there's heaps of space up front for a big battery. Flight controller is an Eagle Tree Vector. I love these flight controllers because you get a color OSD, a good safe reliable RTH and nice stable flight as well. And there's a link to my Vector config file in the description if anyone's interested. The Vector sits on a 3D printed flight controller tray and that's got anti-vibration dampeners. If you'd like to print one of these yourself, you can find it on Thingiverse. Underneath that flight controller tray there's a 5V reg and also the Vector PSU. Back here we've got the Vector GPS an easy UHF 4 channel receiver and that has a dipole antenna the motor is a Sunny Sky X2216 1250kV and that runs an Aeronaut 8x6 folding prop That has a 42mm centerpiece and some 3D printed prop stoppers. So let's turn this over and have a look on the bottom side. So this is another Mark Q piece, that's a 3D printed tail skid. And that's one of the best mods you can do to a Mini Talon. This is a Turnergy Plush 40 Amp ESC. And here's another 3D printed skid for the nose. The servos are all Emacs ES08 MA2s.
I've got some lightweight laminate film on the V-tail here just on this end section and there's also laminate film on the leading edge of the wings the aileron moves about 9mm up and down the elevator is about 5mm up and down and the rudder is much the same I fly with a CG at 58mm back behind the leading edge and I've got these little hot glue balls here so I can find CG easy I fly with a few different battery sizes when I'm flying with the gimbal I've got a Multistar 4000 4 cell when I remove the gimbal I fly with a 5200 or an 8000 for extra range so with the gimbal the plane weighs in at 1377 grams and with the Multistar 4S4000 the all up weight is 1704 grams The glue that I use for all the foam and the 3D printed parts is Uhu Expanded Polystyrene and I believe this is the same thing as Uhu Pour. Here's a quick look at my ground station. This has got a Servo City pan and tilt and I run a Yagi antenna. You can find this on Thingiverse also. This uses the Eagle Tree Eagle Eyes for antenna tracking and it works exceptionally well. And there's a 5.8 relay inside, so no need for cables. So let's have a closer look at the gimbal. I use some preset modes with the gimbal for different camera angles. Uh, this is controlled by an Arduino and a single switch on the Tyrannus. So the first mode is looking forwards the second mode is turning left Two. and the Tyrannus will read out the different modes as we click the switch the next Three. mode is looking to the right each mode starts with a gimbal reset and a bit of a delay as well so this looks out over the wing the next mode is looking backwards This mode is good for when you're flying in formation. You can see the other plane hot on your tail. The next mode is continuously turning left, Five. just at a slow pace. And the next mode is much the same, just turning right. Six. And then the modes repeat themselves, and that's how I use the gimbal. So if anyone's interested, there's a link to the Arduino code in the description. So this vid should have answered some of the common questions I get about the flying weight, the flight controller, the gimbal, and the different parts and lipos that I use. I've also been asked about the added weight and drag of the gimbal. I can definitely feel it, the plane becomes a little bit sluggish and I find it a bit more difficult to manage steady speeds when flying in formations. But the penalty is worth it when I play back the smooth GoPro footage. Even in windy conditions the gimbal footage is impressive. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions please write them in the comments below and I'll leave you with a bit of silky gimbal footage from a recent flight.